coming up on one hour and 30 minutes into today's spacewalk, which began at 6.56 a.m. Central Time. You can see the Canada Arm 2 moving slightly, taking Victor Glover to the next work site. The next task for Glover and Hopkins will be to remove and replace a camera group on the starboard truss. The new HD camera being installed will replace the pink-hued camera you might be familiar with whose color wheel has failed and may be available for public views in future broadcasts. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. minutes we are handing off to the LOX tank we are beginning to flip to horizontal and the white cloud the plume you were seeing was intentional there is a liquid oxygen dump we've now transitioned to horizontal and beginning the subsonic test portion of the flight where we check out the aft and the forward flaps to hold the vehicle stability as we descend back to the landing pad Six minutes, 10 seconds into flight, we're down beneath one and a half kilometers. We're preparing to restart two engines, flip the vehicle vertical, then transition to one engine for the landing burn. Welcome back once again for our webcast this morning. Uh, we've had an we had a non-time liftoff from Space Launch Complex 40 and first stage landing on our drone ship. At this point, second stage has completed its two uh, MVAC burns, and we're now coming up on deployment of our Starlink satellites. That should be happening here just momentarily. like we may have lost our, oh, there we go. There's the view back as we're gonna be passing over Tasmania. Great sunlit shots there. At this point, the second stage has begun to spin a little bit uh, so that the Starlink satellites have momentum uh, to space out after deployment. You can actually see that spin if you look there on your screen. I'm hearing we might lose that ground station signal separation confirmed. prior to deployment. Oh, but there we heard the call out and we can see it on the screen. We've got deployment of this batch of Starlink satellites. 